Hi, today we have a very special treat for you today. Uh, you're going to be watching this video and we're going to talk a little bit about what's called the HemoQ. And uh, we have them here to show you what it does. So without further ado, go ahead, sir. All right, thank you so much. Um, to, to preface and start off with, HemoQ originally started out in uh, Sweden. And our first instrument and what made us famous initially was our hemoglobin analyzer. Um, our focus has always been point-of-care technology to bring lab accurate results um, straight to the patient and to be able to do that um, as they're being examined. So start out with hemoglobin. We've then transitioned over the years onto glucose, um, albumin, and you can see a plethora of other tests here that, that bridge out to white blood cell count, plasma low, and some other specialty um, items. That, that Which three are in here? Uh, right here, we've got the albumin. Okay, which is that one right there? Precisely. Is that it? Okay. The hemoglobin analyzers, and we've got a couple different ones based on technology and connectivity, and then glucose as well. Now, so is this the main glucose. one that, that you provide to? That, is, this, is this like the main one? That, exactly. Okay. Hemoglobin was what we started out with first, and it's what uh, what put our name out in the market and got us famous, and we are the gold standard in that and have been for, for over 25 years. Okay, and you are HemoQ. That's the name of the company. HemoQ, exactly. That we are going to be uh, distributing? Okay. All right. Okay, continue, sir. Sorry. So, um, it's, it's very simple. Like I said, everything is point of care um, and diagnostic, and it is actually lab accurate. So um, we're not talking meters here. We measure ourselves against the actual lab if you were to uh, send out to. So we are all based on a patented micro cuvette technology that you can see here. Our cuvettes are designed specifically for our different analyzers, so they are not um, being able to cross I guess uh, cross test. Right. So each okay. cuvette is specific to its analyzer because it has different technologies. Does this have an expiration date? They do. Okay. Um, and they have different expiration dates for the different analyzers themselves. Hemoglobin has about a year and a half to two year okay. expiration. Glucose about six to nine months. Albumin also about a year and a half as well. And, and this middle one is for what? I'm, I'm trying to understand. So albumin that, is actually okay. a test for microalbuminaria in the urine. And that okay. is a the first, uh, pretty much the first marker that you actually have um, cardiovascular or kidney disease. Okay. Um, based on from uh, if, if you have diabetic patients or patients with um, uh, any kind of hypertension, uh, the first indication that they have a serious problem will be that they'll have a, a trace of microalbuminaria in the urine. This test for that, it can actually diagnose, uh, which is, makes it different from any other analyzer in the market. No, let's just keep rolling. So, um, you can see it's a very, very simple technology. Everything is internally calibrated. As soon as you turn on the instruments and open them up, they run through internal self-tests and self-checks that'll let you know that uh, the instrument is working um, optimally. Okay. So, so you don't have to have these, you don't have to have them calibrated every, like once a year or every Absolutely two Absolutely not. Years. They're okay. internally, internally That's good. factory calibrated and they do a self-test every single time they're turned on to make sure that you know that they're working optimally. Awesome. Um, hemoglobin, there are no controls required. Okay. Um, glucose, uh, there is only a uh, one control per day of use. And same thing with albumin as well. Okay. And that is just, uh, again, with industry standards. And this is how the strips come in all three? or Exactly. So you will either have vials like this with specific, whether it's glucose, albumin, or uh, hemoglobin, or you okay. can get individually wrapped cuvettes. Can you open that up so I can just take, can you open that up so I Absolutely. can see what it looks like? So the same cuvette inside, you'll have an actual strip inside okay. that you can have individually wrapped that will give you a longer expiration date as well, and for customers that don't have um, as high a volume. And you don't need to refrigerate or... Or any of that? Actually, uh, glucose cuvettes will be refrigerated, okay. and they'll, you'll extend the shelf life that way. The other ones, you can have them out there for up to three days uh, as they're testing. So okay, it, and this is how, how how many are in there? Is that get, So there's 25 cuvettes per vial. They come in boxes of four packs, so you'll get 100 tests per, okay. per pack. Um, these ones also come uh, in, in boxes as well. They'll come about uh, four times 25 for a total of 100. Can you open that, that up so I can just see what it looks like in there? Certainly. So you'll have your cuvettes inside. Okay. So that's basically that, but they're not torn like that. You have, okay. exactly. So you have an option of either to do um, vials for higher volume customers okay. or the individually wrapped cuvettes for those that don't have. And these are air, they don't have to be sterile like some PTI and R uh, Absolutely meters. not. They're okay. fine. It has obviously just like anything else that you open like up the a Kagi vial check. Up. Yeah. Once, okay. you, once you open it up, you have the expiration date starts running from that okay. point. Okay. But, um, you know, nothing else to worry about. And you don't need a code chip 
to put in to the meter. Okay. Very, very simple. It's a turn on. You can see it's one That's button huge, on, all these, a lot of... on all of these okay. instruments. It's just one button. You turn them on and they start running immediately for you. So um, we can actually do a demonstration. Okay, we're going to do a, a demonstration for you. Glucose. This is great. So you can see once the instrument is on, three flashing uh, lights here indicate that it's ready to go and it'll actually tell you ready. It's already run its uh, internal self test. So we're going to see how easy this is. We're going to see it right in person. Now, we have a guinea pig here. Um, I have a thing for needles, so this is a very brave man, and he's going to be getting stuck here. So best practice, which is no surprise to anyone else out there, <laughs> you want to just clean the site first with a little alcohol prep head. He's shaking. Look at him. And wipe that off with a little 2x2 two two or a 4x4. Four four. So we'll get that site. You know, He's got to look, you had to look away though, didn't you? <laughs> and so you get a good drop of blood. It's always good practice to wipe away the first and maybe even second drop of blood just to remove any interstitial fluid or anything else, any contaminants that might have been there. And once you get that second drop going, is that our key? And so we're testing for the glucose. That's Precisely. what we're doing right You take a bird's beak down, bird's you apply it to the sample. Okay. And it'll wake right into the cuvette. Okay. We'll give our guineas let's, we'll, let's get a close up of that cuvette. And so that cuvette is now filled up with the sample inside. Wow. It's patented technology. Okay. You want to wipe one side and the other kind of like a butter knife. Okay. Place that in. It only goes one way. Close the door. So you can't put it the wrong way? Or, Absolutely or not. not. That's good. There's others in there that, uh, that you can put in different ways and it'll give you a, a, um, an invalid code. But in this case, mm -hmm. you can run it. 15 to 9, 60 seconds, you'll get a result based on the actual level. Of so it takes about 15, which we're seeing about 15 right seconds. Now. Since this yeah. this glucose analyzer can actually diagnose, so it's not like a meter that just uh, that, that monitors. Um, so it actually measures a result. So in about 15 seconds or so, you will get a result based on the uh, on, on high how high or low the sugar is. And this is about as accurate as you're going to find versus a that, diabetic meter. Or that is the that. most accurate. Yeah. It is lab accurate. It is the most accurate. This is option. lab accurate, which is the key here, right? Precisely, okay. and it is also approved for multi-patient use, which is a big thing. So we can see the blood sugar right there. It comes out in milligrams per deciliter, and you're good to go. Let's show a little close for that. Wow, that is amazing. All right, is that high? What, 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 a little bit, but I think, I, I think our guinea pig just had lunch. So we can, Oh, we can the guinea pig them. just had lunch. <laughs> okay, well, you can see how impressive these three, uh, do you call these meters? Actually, no, that's okay. why uh, yeah. we kind of pride ourselves. They're not meters, they're analyzers. Analyzers, pretty, okay. Precisely. We, they're, they're all lab accurate, so they're analyzers. Um, single analyte, single analyzer. And we just added these on our website, so I'm learning, and I will become an expert very shortly after I meet with these fellows. And we're very proud to offer these products. Uh, we're going to have great deals on strips. Um, we're also going to be looking at other ways to uh, make sure that we get this practice ready for you. Any other um, differences or anything that you want to add? Definitely. Just keep in mind that all of these instruments are actually approved for diagnosing, which is different from being able just to monitor patients. So um, in terms of reimbursement, you will have higher uh, uh, payback on, on, on CPT codes, and you will actually be able to treat your patients um, much better than just the, the standard um, meters that are out there. Okay, and then also on our site, um, you can call us. We are available at all times, but you're also, you also have, from what I understand, live support. Absolutely. We always have live support. Um, you can always call, call into our tech support as well for any issues. Um, and we'll have all this online training uh, available and, uh, and, and additional um, tutorials available for any, anyone out there. Okay, anything else before we uh, let the, these uh, people go? They've watched our video. Very informative. And um, you can see it's very simple to use. Absolutely. That's it. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. And uh, go to GoSouthernMD.com to check it out. Or give us a call at 855-528-2539. Thanks a lot.